It's Dr. James DeLapp with the University of Colorado School of Dental Medicine on Operative Competencies in Axiom. Overview of the video includes planning the X code, attaching a second evaluation form to the competency procedure. This form is used for modifications during the procedure. Obtain a daily grade and dismiss patient. Return for self-grading operative competency, the blue form, and having two instructors grade the competency. First, on the U drive, download the operative competency cheat sheet for Axiom so you can follow along. In Axiom, go to the Rolodex, type in the patient's name, select, and go to the electronic health record. On the far right of the screen, select Create New Record icon, the green plus, and the file folder. In the category section, choose Comprehensive Exam QL, the 14th selection down. Once selected, move the cursor up and to the right and find X2010 Operative Exam Spring DS3 as an example. Click on this selection. You will notice your cursor shape changes from an arrow to an explore icon. Select the tooth and surface to be added, in this case an MO on number 12. In the far right, hit the icon with the tooth in the yellow box with the letter P for plan procedure. Click on the aqua box at the bottom of the page. This opens the patient's approval box. Select the X code. Hit Approve. Have the dialog box come up and have the instructor swipe their code. The spring operative competency is now planned. Find the X code procedure and select. Right click and a drop down menu will appear. Unfortunately, Axiom would not let me screen capture this menu. When seen, select this third selection on the menu which is the Add Edit Treatment Form. When this is selected, the Add Form menu box will appear. Click OK. This opens the treatment form. Some questions are to be filled up prior to the exam. Other questions during or after the exam. Hit Approve. A second dialog box appears. Hit Approve. Finally, the Instructor User Authentication box appears, and the Instructor swipes their card. On the day of the examination, review the competency, radiographs, etc. with the faculty. Click on Forms. Double click on the Operative Dentistry Comprehensive Exam form on File. This brings up the operative form to be reviewed with your instructor. Review the form and get a start check for both the X procedure and the regular treatment procedure. Now comes the fun part of the checkout. First get a routine daily grade by selecting and double left clicking the non-X procedure. This will open a dialog box and hit complete. Hit the aqua box at the bottom of the screen. This brings up the approval box for the non-X coded procedure. Hit approve. This will open the user authentication box. The instructor swipes their card and you can dismiss your patient. Double click the X code procedure. Mark is complete. Hit OK. Click on the aqua box at the bottom of the page. This opens a patient approval screen. Select the X code procedure and hit approve. The user authentication box appears. Have your primary instructor swipe this. Next is the most critical part of the procedure. Proceed with caution. You'll be selecting or checking discipline, form, and competency. This is the most important slide in the series. It shows, under Discipline, 
Comp Care is selected. In Forms, the 8th selection, Operative Dentistry Comp Form is selected, and the Competency Check Mark is marked. The background turns blue. The blue student form now appears. The student self-evaluates their performance. The next step is the most misunderstood section. What appears is the user authentication form. A better name would be user selection. On this dialog box on the far right are three tabs. OK, Instructor, and Held For. This is where the first instructor checks in. Do not hit OK first. The first instructor can slide their card. This swipe will identify the grading form for this instructor. The instructor form will change from blue background to white. The instructor grades as appropriate. Once grading has been complete, hit OK. Another user authentication box appears. Notice only two choices, OK and Cancel. Now the instructor can swipe their card. After this swipe, notice how another user authentication box appears. Looking at the far right, notice the three boxes, OK, Instructor, and Help For. This is where the second instructor swipes their card. The second instructor grades, hits OK, which brings up the last user authentication box appears with only two choices, OK and Cancel. The second instructor swipes their card. This is Dr. James DeLapp with a video snippet on operative competency in Axiom.